Time once again for the NDT Kids Connection. Family and child counselor and educational therapist Lorraine Purcell is here with us today. Today's topic, the greatest, the three greatest gifts you can give your kids. All right, so let's start. Let's just go down the list here. Number one, what is the greatest thing you can give your kid other than uh, an iPad or, or a new smartphone? I'm so glad you said that because that's <laughs> not the greatest gift okay. you can give your Okay, so as long as we clarify that. <laughs> yes. Okay. That is not what they need, and it's not what they really, really want. What they really want from us, Kevin, is they want our time. All right. They want our undivided attention. And what that means is free of distractions, but what that also means is to not be divided within ourselves. That might be like a, a kind of out there term that I'm, I'm talking about right now. But how are we at peace so that we can be with our child? Mm -hmm. So undivided attention actually means to be uh, all congruent with yourself and authentic with yourself. Well, I would assume that undivided attention also means mom or dad are not on their own smartphones oh, or their yes. own iPads. Oh, or, you know, and having trying to have a conversation, trying to give them time, but they're distracted with technology too. Am I right? How does that feel yeah. when you're talking to somebody and you they know, pick uh, up the phone yeah. or they have to answer a text? You it's know, like, you're well, not someone the, else is more important. Yeah, exactly. You know the, that they're not the main focus of the conversation right. again. Okay. It's really important. Now, I, and, and obviously, it's hard in this day and age when mom and dad, they're, they're pulled in so many directions. They're doing so many things. So how do you find time to give that time to your kids? You don't find it. You make it. Okay. You have to actually create it. You have to actually schedule it in and put a barrier around it as a sacred <laughs> place to go, this is my time with my child. All right. We made a date to go for a walk. We made a date to go get hot chocolate. We made a date to go to the park. And nothing gets in the way of that, just as it should be with your, your partner. Your next gift, uh, I understand, is giving them responsibility. Yeah. Uh, this is a minefield. <laughs> this is a big minefield because you want to, but oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much anxiety that gives parents. You just hit the nail on the head because we want so much for our kids to love us and like us that we are often disabled from doing the right parent thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So walk me through that. How, do, right. how, how do we begin to give our kids responsibility? Well, you start by making sure that they have responsibilities in the house, mm -hmm. which I call family contributions, not okay. chores. Okay. And until they've done that, they don't get the goodies. Okay, make them, okay, that's how you make them you, responsible. You actually withhold things like dessert, uh, or the phone things time, they love. Yeah. gaming, okay. uh, computer time. I'm sorry, but how else are they going to learn this? And I know it's uncomfortable, but it's really not our job for our kids to love us and like us. It is our job to do the right parent thing. Okay. And Good they note. will love us and like us if we really work hard to give them the gift of responsibility. Okay. Because how much effort does that take? A lot. A lot. Yeah. So and it's then, easy to just give up. Finally, uh, the gift, the third greatest gift you can give your kids is letting them go. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. that. Okay, what kids tell me is they feel smothered, they feel watched, they don't feel freedom. We have to let them go. We have to let them go so that they can feel the freedom of self-expression. Because if they don't have self-expression, they're not going to know who they are. And then when they finally do have freedom out in the world, We've heard stories about this where there's binge drinking in college and people do really not smart things because they didn't have a chance to experiment while they were under their parents' roof because they were so sheltered, the house was so perfect, they couldn't mess things up. Okay. So it's important to let them go so they feel some freedom. However, you're standing close by in case they need you, but they're not feeling watched. All right. And then one final gift, I'm assuming, stop yelling at your kids. In fact, that's the name of a, a, an e-book that you have that yes. anyone can have access to. Yes, it's stopyellingatyourkids.com, and it's a 50-page 50 50 free e-book where I go through all kinds of ways where you can source and fund yourself as a mom so that you're not caught yelling at your kids the way I was when I first started 20 years ago. So. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. And we'll be right back with more North Dakota Today.